In this example, electricity cost per semester at Mount State University are calculated by the formula C equals 0 0.05 times X plus 0 0.03 times Y minus 0 0.08 multiplied by X and Y, where X is a measure of student size and activities. Y is independent on the uses of various buildings and their efficiencies. And C is the millions of dollars, is in the millions of dollars. So in part A, we're gonna determine the cost of the C if X equals seven and Y equals nine. Part B, we're gonna determine the general formula for the dy by dx and evaluate for X equals seven and Y equals nine. Let's get started. For the cost function in a form of 0 0.05 times X plus 0 0.03 times Y, minus 0 0.08 times X and Y. This case, we can see C depends on both X and Y. So we call this as an implicit form. Um, in part A, for X equals seven, Y equals nine, we can compute the cost by replacing the value seven for the X and the nine for the Y. <coughs> and then get the number out, seven times 0 0.5 and 0 0.05, sorry. So we get 0 0.35 and 0 0.03 times nine. That part, we get 0 0.27. And the last one, which is 0 0.08 multiplied by seven and multiplied by nine, we get 5.04. And then simplify this number, of 0 0.35 plus 0 0.27 minus 5.04, we get the value of negative 4.42. In part B, we have the same information for X and Y, but we are going to find a general formula for the dy by dx. So in this case, we're gonna have to find the derivative with respect to X to all term. So the derivative with respect to X of the first term 0 0.05 X plus derivative with respect to X of 0 0.03 Y minus derivative with respect to X of 0 0.08 xy. The derivative of the C with respect to x, as we get from here, is the derivative with respect to x of negative 442 equals, and the derivative with respect to x of 0 0.05x is 0 0.05. The next term, we use the general power rule. And then we'll get positive 0 0.03 times one times y to the power zero times dy by dx, which is the y prime, then minus 0 0.08 multiplied by the derivative of xy. And this one is in the product form. When you see the product, we're gonna use the product rule. And the product rule is formed by the first term multiplied by the derivative of the second and then do the opposite way. Okay, then the next step, the derivative of the constant is zero. We have 0 0.05 plus 0 0.03, this is one, times dy by dx minus 0 0.08 and multiply by x times dy by dx and plus y times one because dx by dx equals one. And now we have the term dy by dx that we are going to find as a general um, formula. So next step, we're gonna solve for dy by dx. 
To solve for dy by dx, we just clean up all the numbers and move it to the other side. Before we do that, let's expand our term out. So 0 0.05 plus 0 0.03 dy by dx minus 0 0.08 x times dy by dx minus 0 0.08 multiplied by y because we distribute this over. And then keep the dy by dx together in one side and the other term on the other side to get negative 0 0.05 plus 0 0.08 multiplied by y equals 0 0.03 minus 0 0.08 times x with the common factor dy by dx. And then with this, so we can uh, find dy by dx by solving for it. Okay, then or divide both sides by the quantity 0 0.03 minus 0 0.08 times x. Now we get the general formula for the dy by dx. And next we're gonna evaluate when x equals seven and then y equals nine and plug it in to, I use different colors just to see the difference. So negative 0 0.05 plus 0 0.08 multiplied by y, which is nine divided by 0 0.03 minus 0 0.08 multiplied by x, which is seven. And then put in the calculator to get the number out. So negative 0 0.05 plus 0 0.08 times 9 divided by the quantity 0 0.03 minus 0 0.08 times 7. And that gives us negative 1.26 more decimal places. So I keep two decimal places. So this is a dy by dx. The dy by dx, what does it mean? That's the change of the y per the change in x. Negative means decreasing. So the x represents the student size and activity, and y represents the independent on the uses of the various buildings and their efficiency. So dy by dx is the change of the use from building to building and their efficiency per the change of the student size and activity. And it's negative sign means decreasing. So if you decrease the chain in X, the chain in Y gonna be increasing or opposite way. So, or the other way you can say, if there is the change reducing the size of the student gonna increase the uses of uh, the various building and their efficiency. If you increase the size of the student and activity, it's gonna decrease the uses of various buildings and their efficiency, which makes sense. 